The health of North Dakota's salmon fishery took a big hit in the flood of 2011. Massive releases from Garrison Dam washed most of the salmon's main forage, the rainbow smelt, through the turbines. Recent hydroacoustic studies, deep water sonar pictures, show not only smelt numbers, but other species as well are making a tremendous comeback. The smelt have rebounded really well after that, and with the rebound of the smelt and other species like salmon and walleye and northerns, they all do well too with the rebound of the smelt. For several years following the flood, those years when smelt numbers were pretty dismal, salmon stocking numbers were decreased dramatically. Why stock fish when there aren't enough groceries to feed them? But with the rebound in smelt numbers, the salmon stocking is back to normal. For several years, we've been stocking right around the 200,000 salmon mark. Um, with the, the smelt numbers increasing now, this spring we stocked 400,000 salmon. Salmon fishing this year started off slow, thanks in part to a breakdown in the thermocline caused by several days of 50 to 60 mile an hour winds in late July. Lately though, more of these silver bullets are being caught on a regular basis, many of them sporting a tag in their nose. You won't be able to detect the tiny device, but there is a way to tell if you have a tagged fish. If the adipose fin is missing on your salmon, which is a soft, fleshy lobe fin towards the back of the salmon, if that is missing, there is a really good chance there is a tag in the head of the salmon. If you catch a tagged salmon, you're asked to remove the head right behind the gills and drop the entire head off at the Game and Fish office in Riverdale or Bismarck, or either gas station, Scott's in Pick City or the Honey Hole in Riverdale. The information on the tag will help biologists better understand the species, and it's a way you can help contribute to the future of salmon fishing in North Dakota. This is Tom Jensen, Outdoors.